And the way that Sophie is now, I can't see. Well, you don't know if she can even fly, do you? Me and Sophie are gonna have to stay in the US alone until she's well enough to fly. Which is quite a scary, sad, sad thought. It was a bit sad saying goodbye to everyone and I'm staying here. <laughs>
So she shouldn't have been scared because if she had just let out a scream, someone would have opened their door. Exactly. So, so that's why I've been sleeping it in the rest of the night. <laughs> <laughs> this is obviously Casey and Grace's room. Me and Sarah have a room. And then Lauren has our own room. So at the moment, Chloe is asleep in Lauren's room having a nap. She's always napping. Whenever we film videos, she's nap. always napping. It's the best time to film when she's napping. Okay, so basically the corridors we're walking down, it's like, it looks all the same. Like, it looks exactly the same. And there's so many. It's like a maze almost. So one time, me and Olivia were going to go, which is my cousin, we were going to go somewhere. We were going to meet at the lift. I heard her go out the door, so I was like, okay, I'll go find her. So I went to try and find her room and I got lost in the thing. So I was like, right, I just need to go back to my room and then find the list from there. And I got lost and I was walking around all these corridors thinking, oh my goodness, it's all the same. I probably went around this maze about 10 times and then I finally met her at the elevator. So there is, how many floors is there? Six, 16 or 17 floors in the other lift, 16 floors. This is deck five. This is where you've got like guest services, but you've also got like a bar here. You've also got like karaoke over there. Sarah's dad was singing karaoke last night, which is really good. It almost feels like you're in like a shopping mall, um, in like like an American shopping mall. But, and it, this place you can get pizza pretty much any time of the day. Look, like, this pub's pretty cool. We haven't actually been in there, but it looks like an actual pub. It's like a coffee shop over here, which is open 24 is hours. Whenever we don't know where anyone is, we just come here and you're bound to find someone. Like. Yeah, so here's some of our family over here. Most days we come here to get a snack and today we got some banana bread. I got a kiki, then I've tried this, and banana bread. And what did you get me and Sophie? Nothing. I actually go Sophie bit. Oh wow, that's so generous. <laughs> There's a car here. It's like a really popular car back in those days. Yeah, in those old days. There's a bar here and it's like it goes up and down but really slowly. So this bar is like basically it's like an elevator and it goes all the way up to that floor up there. But it's very, very slow. What do we have out in the boardwalk? The slides. The slides? Carousel. Carousel. Hot dog stand. And Daddy's favourite. Starbucks. Wow. Oh, Starbucks. Starbucks. <laughs> it has an arcade. The only thing that's not included is the Starbucks. So but it's the best thing. So Daddy's been making sure he gets one every day. It's worth day. it. It's worth it. Oh. So everywhere, everywhere we go, you have to do like the hand sanitizer just to stop germs spreading. Because like when one person gets sick, it can spread to like the whole ship. So spread like wildfire. I've washed my hands more times in like one day than I did in a whole year when I was at home. Because you don't normally wash your hands when you go to the toilet. It's not true, guys. <laughs> Those and hot dogs are really good. And literally at like any time, you can just get a hot dog. There's, there's a really big slice called Abyss, Abyss, and it's like massive. Last time when we came on, we've been on this cruise before, last time Grace was too scared to go on the side, and then this time, she conquered her fears, and... I want to go on it again, but... We haven't got time, yeah. but we can today. Yes. Yeah. I haven't been on it yet. Let's check out Sophie's sliders today. Oh, cute. So if you look up here, they've got a rock climbing wall and then they've got another rock climbing wall up there. And it looks like they're about to set up for a show here. So they do like an aqua show where people do diving. People dive off there into the pool. <laughs> This is my favourite part of the whole ship. This is called Central Park. the bar we were saying that goes up and down this is where it ends up it comes up here so in the mornings um, so a couple of mornings I got up early with Chloe because she was getting up before everyone else and we would just come down here I'd get a coffee she'd have her milk and we'd have a little walk around here it's just I don't know it's just something really nice about this place 
Okay, so we're on deck 15 now, so you've got the swimming pools, you've got the water slides. Hang on a second, you've got to show them the good bit. So as we had a babysitter with us, thank you Lauren, we were able to have, what, an, a couple of hours to ourselves? In yeah. the over 16s, no children allowed. Amazing. Yeah, so there's like hot tubs and stuff in there, and then the waiters come and take your order whilst you're sitting in the hot tub. And we didn't have any kids, like Lauren had all the kids back at the room, and it was just like, we've never done that Although, on holiday. We've never ever been able to do that. We're making it sound romantic. There was, a, there was a really big wind and rain, so. It was almost like a hurricane as well, yeah. It's been so nice having Lauren with us. Like, we've never taken a babysitter on holiday with us before, and it's just been really, really nice doing that. There's three different sides, slides. The yellow one inside is pitch black, and sometimes you feel like you're gonna turn that way, but you actually turn the other way. So, as you can hear in the background, there's a massive wave machine in case you're just queuing up to do bodyboarding. Sarah, what are you drinking? The non alcoholic strawberry daiquiri. So, cheers! Look at that, like, that's crazy high. I'm gonna go and do the zip line now, I haven't done it yet, and Grace is gonna do it later. She hasn't got her shoes on at the moment, and you have to have shoes on, you've got sliders on, so she's gonna do it later on, but I'm just gonna do it now, because we're already here. Look who's ready for a swim. You're gonna have a little swim, yeah? That is a big drop. It's safe, yeah? <laughs> I said to him, can you double check and triple check the things? He was like, if you really want me to, I was like, I really want you to. And then you just got to put your feet up and just go. And he was like, yeah, that was scary. <laughs> we are literally in the middle of nowhere. We can't see any land whatsoever. And How does that make you feel? It freaks me out. Especially thinking like this, there's definitely sharks. There's sharks underneath us. Yeah. Sarah's definitely a lot more nervous than I am. Like. It doesn't really bother me, but she doesn't like the. Literally, look. She nothing. doesn't like the thought of this. Look, that you cannot see land from anywhere on the whole ship. Literally, just see everywhere. <laughs> So we just docked in Haiti and it's absolutely beautiful. Like it's stunning. As soon as you get off the boat, it's just... We've got our pina coladas and our pineapples. Run ahead. Mine's a bit non-alcoholic, obviously. Feeling very tropical. This has by far been my favourite day of the holiday, like, this is just paradise. It feels like a movie set, like, it's so weird, because it's like a really stereotypical Hawaii. Even though we're not in Hawaii. Yeah. I know, but... Caribbean, just, yeah. Like, <laughs> what do you think? 
<laughs> oh, Grace, a woman of many words. Mm -hmm. Grace is a little bit disappointed. Why are you disappointed, Grace? Because Daddy... Your dad let you down, didn't he? He promised me at the start of the holiday when there was jet skis that we would go on a jet ski today. Because I, said, cause I said I wanted to go on jet ski then, but he said no today. But there's no jet skis here. They're all shut. So I, last minute, I left it a bit too late and we missed the jet skis and this is the last place we're going to stop off so there's no more chance to go jet skis. But I did promise Grace that when we go to Miami we're going to do jet skis. Yeah? But tell them what we've booked the day we get off our cruise. Oh yeah, so we've booked a boat ride on the Everglades going to look at alligators. So mummy got in the sea today for about five seconds and then she ran out screaming because why did you run out screaming? Because the seaweed touched my feet. Because <laughs> seaweed touched your feet. Now, I didn't realise this when I married you, that you don't like sea and you don't like fish in the sea. And that's one of my favourite things. And where did we book our honeymoon to go? The Maldives. Which is basically, there was a t an island about this big, surrounded by sea, and the only thing to do was get in the sea. And then... I, I enjoy watching you in the sea. And that's when I found out I'd married someone that doesn't like fish in the sea, when that's one of my favourite yeah, things. I I just don't like things touching my feet when I'm in the water. Maybe I need to get a pair of those sea shoes or something. You need some know. of those wellies that come up to your, your oh, hips. Maybe a pair of like flippers ones. so I can like kick the fish out of the way. We better get back on the ship before so it leaves. So we've got two days now on the ship and then we dock up Sunday morning. Okay, day and a half. Yeah. So sad. This one of these one's so quick. No. So we're due to fly home tomorrow and Today we had to take Sophie to the medical center because she came down like really ill. She was really floppy, her eyes were rolling. So we rushed her down to the medical center and um, they'd done a test and they said that she's got flu. Her immune system isn't as great like ours, so yeah. she gets when she's poorly, she's really poorly. Something like the flu is quite a big deal for her. It's not just like anyone else. Now we got her back up to the room and then she started vomiting like loads. Yeah, she's very, um, very poorly. We don't know what's going on because tomorrow morning we're supposed to be getting off the ship. We had booked an excursion. We were supposed to be doing the like a, an Everglades tour. See the alligators. And then that tour was going to take us straight from there to the airport. We fly at 5 p.m. tomorrow. That's what time our flight takes off. And if Sophie's not well enough by the time it is to go to the airport, me and Sophie are going to have to stay in the US alone until she's well enough to fly. Which is quite a scary, sad, sad thought. For some reason, when she's ill, like she's trying to reassure us that she's okay. Yeah, because when I got upset and started to cry, didn't I? She looked at me and just tried to smile and tell me it's okay. But when she was smiling, She's like really putting a lot of effort into smiling, but it's almost like her lip was shaking, like she wanted to cry. And I just said to her like, Sophie, do you want to cry? And she was like, and then she, like her lip so, really yeah. started going. And I said, it's okay, you can cry. She's like, so brave. She's she was trying to be brave for us, which yeah. is like, oh, bless her. And then she vomited, and now she's vomiting. <coughs> you can hear her coughing in the background. And she was vomiting, she's giving me a thumbs up as if to say I'm okay. Like, it's okay to not be okay, Sophie, like, bless her. Oh, she really melts my heart. We're gonna get to bed and um, hopefully tomorrow we'll be flying home all together, to but I have to wait and see. Good night. Good night. Good morning. So, um, Sophie slept really well in the night. She hasn't vomited again, but she's still feeling really ill. Because we say sex, we've only actually had six hours sleep. Yeah, well, sleep. yeah, we've only had six hours sleep because we have to get up early to check out. I don't know, what, I don't know, at this point, I still don't know what's going to happen, but we'll have to just see, see how she is throughout the day and then uh, figure out what we're going to do. Just wait for me. Yeah, we are, we are waiting for you. Mummy, doing your shoes up? Yes, uh, so Look at my crazy hair. <laughs> oh, your hair is so crazy. I love your crazy hair. We didn't know what to do because obviously they're going on an excursion and it means that they are on the coach for the majority of the time 
They're only on the Everglades for 45 minutes and then back on the coach all the way back to the airport. So we didn't want to put Sophie obviously through that. So now we're going to stay on the ship. Bye. 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 Casey, Grace and Lauren and all of our other family have gone on an excursion. Me, Sarah, Sophie and Chloe um, are going to go to the mall and we're just going to hang out there and then we're going to meet everyone at the airport. Yeah. It's not too bad. We've got to meet them. Yeah. Like half club one, so. Yeah. It was a bit sad saying goodbye to everyone. And I'm staying here. <laughs> right. right. Okay. Movie, Let's go. Turn up at the mall, and we realise that it doesn't open till 11 o'clock, and it's like oh, half nine. The centre itself is open, but the shops don't. Open. Yeah, so we can go inside in the air conditioning, but every shop is not going to go open for like another hour and a half. But we're fine because we just want to walk around and get these two little ones. Yeah. Have a little the main point was just getting them somewhere where there's air conditioning. We can chill. They can have a nap. to the airport and uh, Sophie, Sophie how are you feeling now <laughs> she's still got a sore throat but she's feeling much better she's just polished off a whole Burger King so she must be feeling good hi Grace how was the Everglades good but we didn't see any alligators or crocodiles only in the in, only in the actual like zoo park they thing. kept on stopping for some birds <laughs> Did we go and see birds? So we obviously didn't miss out on much then, did we? No, we got to do some shopping. And you got and new flip-flops, didn't you? And yeah. Got, and I got new leggings. Right, so we're getting ready for another nine hour flight back home with this bunch and Chloe's over there with Lauren. And six seconds squad shout out goes to Tilly and Maddie. Hey Tilly and Maddie. Hey. Hey. Anyway guys, we, we're not gonna vlog on the way home because you've seen what it's like to travel with us. It's not that interesting, it's quite boring. So anyway, we'll see you later, bye. Bye. bye.